This is, to me, the crux of economic development. And I, I've uh, evolved to the uh, idea that I don't like the phrase economic development because when people hear economic development, what they hear is how are we going to bring in the next factory? Or how are we going to uh, keep our keep our existing employers, but it's more that, that, little, that little piece of work that true economic development is. And um, truthfully, I prefer, I prefer the phrase community economic development. And if you listen carefully, there's no space between community and economic. It's all one word, community economic development. Because that's how economic development really has evolved. Now, the premise used to be, when we were looking at cheap land and cheap labor, is that you can plop a factory anywhere, or pop, plop an employment, employer, employer anywhere, and people will flock to that, no matter where it is. That's not the case anymore. Employers will go to where people choose to live. And that's why what you're doing is, to me, a critical, critical component of economic development, I would say it's economic development. And it involves all of you. It doesn't depend on Dan Theobald. It doesn't depend on the mayor. It depends on all of you. And you all need to participate. And I'm just heartened to see all of you here invested in this. Um, another part of this that struck me, and I didn't really have any notes, but I put on the previous group, which, frankly, all you all are hard to follow. On the previous group, I wrote down some notes, just based on my experiences and what I'm seeing here. They're just kind of reminders. One of these things is, one of these reminders is, you're going through a strategic process. I'm not saying strategic planning doing a strategic process because these are your activities now will not pay dividends until the sun may be immediate but the true dividends are going to come to the community in 5, 10, 15, 20 years it's critical you start now because you can't take shortcuts in this process Strategic processes and even strategic decisions are hard, hard, hard processes. Strategic decisions are hard decisions. An example of that, um, in, in you know some of the work that Oprah does, we we fund a lot of infrastructure projects. And about four years ago, I had a very powerful senator in Northern Indiana give me a call. Uh, because we uh, had declined to uh, fund a small town's repairs of a water tower. Repairs, uh, in our mind, are not capital investments. They are repairs. They are maintenance. And that, that community was struggling with its water tower and all of that. And I had done some checking. I said, Senator, um, do you know the last time that town raised its water rates? He said, no. And I said, 30 years. That's a strategic decision. That's more of a tactical decision because the community's leaders didn't want to make a very tough strategic decision because they may not get elected again if they made that tough, tough strategic decision, which is to monitor the water rates and raise them appropriately to take care of the business of the town. That's a, a very small example of strategic decisions. Sometimes strategic decisions are unpopular. Sometimes strategic activities are unpopular because they're misunderstood. But one of the things I see that you're doing now that I think is incredibly important that I hope you keep up 
is the community conversation. We don't have enough community conversations. Strategic activities, strategic actions like this are much, much easier to make as a community if you continue to engage and be all inclusive in your conversations. It's very important that you do that. And a couple of other things uh, that I that have been alluded to, and, and I just have my own Southern, I, I grew up in Fortville, but I've been in Southern Indiana almost 25 years. I, I'm getting that almost Kentucky draw uh, in phraseology. Um, just be patient. And community processes, as I said, are messy. And they ebb and flow. And just because they might be in the ebb stage doesn't mean it's dying. You go through your cycles. Um, and and the, the key to a lot of this that, that I've experienced is that you just keep coming to the table. And we experienced this with the Shelby County Life and Long Learning. We would have some meetings where three people would show up. And we would have meetings where everyone would show up. And it just, just ebbs and flows. Communities have their own cycles. It doesn't mean it's dying. And, and the, the key to all of it is that you just keep slogging away. I love that word, phrase, slogging. Because that's what it feels like sometimes. But if you keep your goals in mind, um, uh, you will achieve what you need to achieve for your community. Because it, it's just so incredibly important. Uh, as I mentioned before, we've been looking at ways and exploring ways. We have our own programs and partnerships that we, we have, uh, that we work with communities. And um, I've been watching from a distance what has been happening in Shelby County. Uh, I do want to uh, congratulate Shelbyville on being a finalist for the Stellar Communities. Uh, it, it's quite an achievement. We are in kind of the stratosphere of communities right now around the state. Uh, we started, th this is a pilot program, and frankly, we're trying to model at the state level some of the things I've been talking about. We're, we've got four uh, state agencies collaborating, mingling our funds to work with communities. Uh, and and we, that's what we want communities to do, is to start collaborating. Um, and part of our process, or, or two key components, are uh, communities need to demonstrate collaboration, strategic action, and thinking. And so that, that's critically important. I will say it's going to be we started with 42 communities, we're down to 12 communities. It's going to be incredibly, incredibly, incredibly competitive. And um, I get knots in my stomach when I think about how, when we select the, the two communities. Um, but, it's been mentioned before, for Shelbyville, um, you have a great blueprint if you're not selected. And we will be working with communities that, that aren't selected. We also feel this, uh, this approach to working with communities uh, is important enough that we, we intend to do it again and institutionalize this. It, uh, all the agencies feel this way. And that's the way, when you're looking at resource allocation, kind of as an aside, that's the way we see uh, the direction going. Uh, more collaboration, more blending of funds, and more strategic thinking. Again, I just want to congratulate you. Uh, Shelby County, you get it. Keep plugging away at it because this is incredibly important uh, for all of you and for your future. I'm honored to be here. Thank you.